Climate change poses urgent challenges to the housing sector due to extreme weather events driving up repair costs and energy consumption. ADB, in collaboration with US MRC, held a capacity building session on a green renovation mortgage product. The project helped banks to diversify portfolios, attract eco conscious borrowers, mitigate credit risks, access global green finance, and enhance their reputation in sustainable finance. And the mortgage is given for the households that are planning to renovate or construct the house in line with ESG requirements. We asked the CEO of the mortgage refinancing company of Uzbekistan, Murad John Farmonov, about the requirements for the loan. So in a simple terms, this is how it works. If you were going to take one example, first of all, when you buy a house, you need to make sure minimum that the builder shouldn't have used asbestos as a construction material in the building because it's considered as internationally as being harmful for the health of the person. So that's one requirement. So if the loan was given out to buy a house that have used asbestos, we're not going to be able to look at that and refinance it. But if it's clean from those products, that's just one example, then we'll be happy to refinance it. At the same time, from social aspects, if the house is built in an area where there was, let's say, social tensions, or some conflicts with the people who lived there, they were, let's say, removed from the area. Again, this is the area where no, this is not in line with the company's policies, and therefore it would be problematic to refinance them. But however, if the house that is built or renovated is completely free of these issues, then this is where we come in and we'll be happy to refinance. And this is how we promote the ESG practices in the market. Green mortgages are important for climate resilience and energy efficient housing designs. The session aimed to empower financial institutions to identify and structure projects for green renovation loans, ensuring both financial viability and significant environmental and social benefits. Enrico Pinale commented that considering current changes in the prices of the electricity, green renovation mortgage could bring more energy efficient solutions. We knew this was going was gonna to come and the cost of, of electricity uh, will go up and definitely this, uh, this renovation loan uh, targets that type of energy efficiency, energy savings uh, that, that will uh, support the household when they of course have to face maybe a, a slightly higher bill or even higher than expected bill. So this is important but it also, it, it also brings a certain level of consciousness in the population that uh, you, know, you need to save. And when whether you save it by lowering consumption or uh, using solutions that are more energy efficient, uh, they both contribute to that. And, uh, and it's important uh, also to understand that this is a new trend uh, for the young Uzbekistan. That, uh, it's important to uh, uh, change the behavior, but also instill the culture of, of savings. Sustainable finance is about ethical decision-making in business and investment. It focuses on environmental, social and good governance standards that customers, workers and investors demand of companies. Sustainable finance is helping transform both the economy and society with more responsible development and with investment in the transition towards sustainable production and services. So I think it's a general uh, worldwide phenomenon. However, um, as I said, personally also in, in, uh, in my home country, I've moved all my appliances to energy efficiency one to lower the bills. But in general, I think uh, uh, here is more pronounced because you do have uh, a stock of older buildings and uh, uh, a growing demand for these services. And uh, uh, this is important to uh, provide uh, this type of solution because I think people are coming to understand the importance of investing to save.